Spotify has finally released the feature to add looped videos to your songs as an independent artist, and I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. What's up guys, AC Evan here with Artist Collective, and I'm here giving you resources and tools as an independent artist to grow your music brand. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize Spotify Canvas. This is a brand new feature Spotify finally released for independent artists to add a looped video to your stream songs on Spotify for your fans to watch. So you've probably seen them on giant artists like Drake and DaBaby where it's their music video while the song is playing on Spotify. Really cool feature, really dives deep into the brand and gives you a whole new experience while using Spotify as a user. So they finally released this to independent artists, DistroKid, CD Baby, TuneCore, pretty much everybody has access to this now. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own canvas, how to upload it, and some tips along the way. So if you like videos like this, you're an independent musician, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Make sure to follow us on all social platforms and more videos coming to you soon. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to show you how to create and upload your very first Spotify canvas for your song. So this is a cool way to just interact with your fans, show them a little more of your brand and create a deeper connection so they can see who you are, not just listen to your song on Spotify. So I'm going to show you how to do this on Final Cut Pro. You can do this in iMovie. You can do this on free applications on your phone. It doesn't really matter, um, but I'm going to show you on Final Cut. So a couple things to keep in mind for this. Um, it needs to be between three and eight seconds long. It's going to be a looped video. It could be a photo. So it, it could be a JPEG as well. Um, I like the videos, especially if you already have video content, music videos, things like that. Might as well use those um, and show, showcase that on your Spotify as well. Um, it also needs to be in the vertical format on your phone. It's going to be that 9 by 16. It's got to be 720 pixels tall at least. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to create that in Final Cut right now. So I've already got it made here, but in Final Cut, you would say new, you go project, and you would create, so this would be the default, you would create the video and you just say vertical, it does it for you. 720 by 1280, um, it's gonna be exactly the size that you need. And then you can format any horizontal uh, music videos. You would just resize it so everything is being shown that you want it in that window. So I've got it made here. Um, if there's any music connected to this, this is a huge tip. Make sure you remove that, that song. So what you would do is you would uh, right click and you would say detach audio. I've already done that, so nothing's there. You would press detach audio and then it would create a new line down here for the audio. Just delete that. If you upload it with the song, Spotify will not take it. So you're gonna need to resize it to make sure it's between that three and eight video, uh, uh, three to eight seconds, I'm sorry. And we'll see what we come up with. This is a video of Austin performing uh, his song with Cafe Disco called All These Pretty Girls. And what will happen at the end is it'll just loop on Spotify. So perfect. We're going to say file, share, master file. And this is a huge thing as well. It, make sure down here, make sure the output, the export is in MP4. It's going to do a .mov file. Um, automatically see the video audio it's going to do .mov change that here to format and publish it on a computer and it'll change that to mp4 i've had to do that a couple times and uh, kind of fail a couple times so hopefully uh, that'll help you guys then you'll press next and export um, and then we will just move right over to spotify for artists so let me do that right now and i'll show you how to upload it super simple really cool way to to create more branding on your pages for your fans so let's go over to spotify for artists you're gonna go to your music section you're gonna find the song that you want to add an extra video for we got all these pretty girls right here and you should see now 
for uh, for most independent artists, depending on your distributor, you will have Canvas available to you. I know there's some countries that they're still rolling it out, but before that, you had to be a major artist to have this. So this is a huge win, and I want you all to be able to add anything you can to these songs um, as it's a new feature and fans are going to be excited to see it and it's going to make you look even more legit. So make sure you get on this and add anything you can to all of your songs. So you're going to have this add canvas button if it's available. If you do not have it available, um, I'll provide a link below that might help you or you can contact me. We can kind of poke around that together, but you're going to say add canvas. It'll show it up right here. If you forget what the requirements are, Spotify makes sure that you know that. Um, and this is all at uh, Spotify for artists. Uh, in case you were wondering where you access this, you can access this on your phone, you can do this on a desktop, I prefer a desktop because it's a little bit, little bit easier to deal with like larger files. Um, so you're going to press this plus button here. And let's find the video. I see it right there, we're going to double click, boom, it's already previewing it. So you get to see it. And as soon as it's over, it just loops again. This is just some, some extra sauce on your brand that will help um, solidify uh, your legitimacy. It looks really dope when people are streaming it. They're like, oh man, there's a video to, that goes with this. And if it is an official music video, you can always, it'll hopefully pique some interest and they can go look it up and watch it on YouTube or whatever it is. So you're just gonna hit next and it, you gotta agree to their terms. Like I said, you gotta make sure there's not a whole bunch of text. You gotta make sure that there's no vulgarity, any nudity, anything like that. They're gonna deny it. So just make sure that you are proactive with uh, uh, reading all this and making sure that it, it fits their terms. And then you're gonna post. And from what I've seen, it's it, within the hour, within 60 minutes, you'll see it. Sometimes even less, a lot of times even less. So um, it'll take, this it says about 10 minutes to process. Then you should start to see it on your Spotify. 